What's going on guys? Today we are grading all of the brand new golden tickets for drop number three. Of course, before we get started, if you are part of the 67% of people who watch the videos and are not, and are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications, change that right now. We make videos like this, gameplays, tier list. Tomorrow we have a quarterback tier list coming out, so definitely make sure you are subscribed. But let's discuss these cards, which ones are worth it, which cards are not, which cards are good, which cards are not. Let's talk about it. And let's get started with our first one today and what might be listen i love larry fitzgerald one of my favorite players of all time i love larry fitzgerald i have no hate towards the cardinals i love kyler murray okay that's what i'm gonna say to the cardinals fans that are out there but this is actually the worst golden ticket of all time stats are great they're great good stats but even the run blocking like 65 like what did they boost on this card and why did they boost it i don't know uh could this guy have been a casual who pulled it probably um, but of course, X factors, these are okay. But the abilities on this card, man. Look at the abilities. Okay, so here's his one AP slot. He gets runoff for one, slot omatic for one. Okay, and then acrobat, human joystick playmaker, deep elite. I really cannot believe this card is real. Um for a golden ticket, okay? Um, what is his price right now? Because it should be like 200 k if that's even possible. Um ooh, uh, what? Okay, don't buy this card for anything more than 200k. Because there are cards that are 200k that are better than him. Quarterback, tight end Bo Jackson might be a more useful receiver than this card right here. Okay, I'm going to say that right now. Maybe that's a little crazy, but uh, yeah, this one's an F. Probably the worst golden ticket we've seen, man. Just truly disappointing how they did Larry Fitz. You got to boost the run block and you got to give him a jukebox. Um, that's like the two main things that he's missing. And then for the 1 APs, getting slotomatic and what was it runoff elite is criminal bro absolutely criminal larry fitz man criminal um so now let's talk a good golden ticket here mean joe green of course this was made by i believe gut fox so he knows what he's doing and you know this definitely is reflected of course all the pre-lit x factors for the one ap's he does get deep zone ko which was one of the abilities that you cannot make zero ap so a very good choice here and then for the zero APs, you have the Avalanche ability or Avalanche X Factor turned ability, which is obviously a big deal here. Um, and then you, you're, if you're going to use the card, Lurk Artist. If you're not, you have mid zone, deep zone, and Avalanche um, all for one AP with the X Factor. This is an A plus golden ticket. One of the best cards in the game right here. Six foot four, 275, 99 speed. Amazing stats, by the way, which I should mention. Like good COD, which matters on a user. Good hands. And then obviously he's a defensive tackle turned safety. So he's going to have the good, you know, power and finesse and tackling stats. So this right here might be the best card in the game as he is able to be like unlike julius peppers who's limited to being a user this card can play over the top and be effective and can play in the box be your user and be effective this right here is an a plus and one of the best cards if not the best card in the game right now and next up let's go to ah uh, let's go let's go taste hill i actually just used this card just made a video on this card if you guys do want to see that go check it out uh it, it's actually pretty solid the only problem with Taysom Hill, I mean, the stats are great. On paper, he has a chance to be one of the best QBs in the game. Not number one because he does get Gen 2, not traditional 4. But the setup, like, these two ability slots, I don't hate, right? I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Um, but there is one ability missing, and that's set feet lead, okay? Um, I'd rather you discount set feet lead than you, you know, make us pay full price for it. So in order to use this card like any other QB, um, I ran Truz for my gameplay, and I had a 6 AP setup. With Truz, I ran Hot Route Master, I ran Gunslinger because again, he has Gen 2, you are going to need Gunslinger. The one thing that can be interchangeable is Hot Route Master. If you have a bunch of apprentices or maybe a scheme where you don't need Hot Route Master, then you can go with like Fearless or something like that, which I really did like on Andrew Luck. But Taysom Hill, I don't think can be discussed as a top five QB in the game. And for a golden ticket QB to not be discussed as a top five QB is insane. Okay, the day he came out for him not to be a top five QB is crazy. Um, so a 6 AP setup on Taysom Hill, obviously a great runner. Um, he can throw the ball fine, you know, with Gunslinger, but you are going to have to pay that 6 AP. And spending 6 AP on a golden ticket QB that came out in May is just crazy. So, so Taysom Hill, as far as his grade goes, again, we're talking golden ticket scale here. I feel like he's probably a B to B minus golden ticket. Um, and there hopefully will be better QB builds through this promo. I hope so. But golden ticket, I mean, golden ticket Taysom Hill, definitely a letdown. And for our final one, we actually have Gronk. I actually haven't looked at Gronk yet to be honest so that's actually our first glance at him I would imagine yep 99 6 foot 6 268 99 COD we love to see all that stuff good hands and very good yeah okay this is like a very good card the only thing that puts Mean Joe like over this guy is because 
Mijo Breen's a safety, so he automatically is going to animate better than Gronk, even with the Lurker Artist. But of course, all the X Factors, Avalanche, all that good stuff. Let's see what abilities they gave him. So, Enforcer Flat Zone 1. Mid Zone 0 is my guess. Okay, so whoever built this card, obviously, he's going to be your user. So, you get... Okay, honestly, not an awful set. I actually do see the vision with what they were trying to do. Um, I wonder if everybody knew they were able to put Avalanche as an, as an ability. Because I'm sure he, they, they probably would have put it here. You know what I mean? I'm sure they would have, but Lurk Artist, mid zone, and then like if you want, right? If you want and you feel like you need flat zone for one, you can do it. The more popular setups definitely mid zone. Um, and Lurk Artist, a very good setup for zero AP. I'm gonna tackle Supreme as well. Also, it would have been kind of nice if he had like a secure tackler in here instead of Enforcer. Like a tackle Supreme here for one AP. I probably would have liked that a little bit better, actually. Um, yeah, if it was tackle Supreme for one, and then you can go Lurk Artist, mid zone, and tackle Supreme for one AP. So you at least have that versatility if you don't want to make him an all zone guy. But Gronk, really good card here. I would probably give Gronk, he's probably an A plus two. I don't think he's like, I think Mean Joe is better, but they're both A plus cards. Both cards are very, very good. Um, do I like him more than Julius Peppers? Uh, yeah, I think I actually do. I really did like this Gronk middle linebacker card. I used him for a long ass time. So Gronk's a stud. I mean, this drop, it had some lows with Larry Fitzgerald, but I think we've seen the best golden ticket so far. It means Joe Green. Gronk's two A pluses. Let me have that B minus ish, Taysom Hill. But um, drops, I guess, are looking up. We'll see. Hopefully they keep going. And again, we're back to one drop a week. So um, hopefully we start getting some more, you know, we start seeing some more content. But hey, Thursday, theme team promo. I'm hype. We're going to be making a bunch of videos about that kind of stuff. So again, make sure you are subscribed. If you made it to the end of the video, hit the, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I will see you boys tomorrow.